SmartSheet's dynamic view is a powerful advanced capability built to help teams collaborate seamlessly. Teams can create custom views to match their unique workflows. In this short video, we'll explore the power and versatility of SmartSheet Dynamic View, which can unlock a whole new level of efficiency and protection for your sensitive data. With Dynamic View, users can tailor views based on permission levels. These permission levels are separate from Sheet Permission Level, eliminating the need to share the entire sheet with everyone who needs access to certain data on it. Let's compare an IT Request Tracker Sheet. Without Dynamic View, Users who are assigned tasks on this sheet must be shared with the entire sheet to check request status and other key data, causing inefficiencies and elevating the risk of exposing confidential information. However, when using Dynamic View, users shared to the view can only see requests for which they are assigned. This prevents exposure to columns related to the broader process that are outside of their scope of responsibility. Additionally, users can click on any request to update key data points. The view owner and admins can set certain fields to be editable by users. Dynamic View can be accessed by either visiting dynamicview.smartsheet.com, selecting the launcher, then selecting Dynamic View, or by selecting Dynamic View while inside any sheet or report. Using the IT Request Tracker Sheet as an example, let's take a look at how a Dynamic View is configured and shared. On the Dynamic View homepage, Users can see any dynamic views they have created or have been shared to. You can also select Create View to open the View Creation menu. To set up a view, you must first select a sheet or report that contains the underlying data. In this case, we will navigate to the IT Ticket Management Request Tracker Sheet and select Create. Here we can select our general options, such as naming the view and selecting how we would like to restrict access. In this example, we will restrict view by current user using the assigned a column. This will ensure that users of this view will only see the requests for which they are assigned. However, note that views can be filtered to restrict the view based on an existing filter on the source. We can now select Save to move to the next menu. In View Display, we can select which specific fields will be displayed for users of this view. Note that view creators can also selectively include attachments and comments if they wish. We will select the appropriate fields and select Save. In the Details Panel Setup menu, we can select the fields we would like to include in the Details Panel on the right side of the view. These are the fields that will appear when a user selects one of the rows within the view. Note that we can customize the permission level for each field so the view user only has access to what they need and nothing else. Note that if we select Read Only, the field will not be editable to the view user. If a view builder would like to further customize the experience to drive a process, they can select the Field Logic button to set up conditions and actions for the Details panel. We could set the Field Logic to make the Request Description field read only when the request comes from a certain department. For this demonstration, we will not configure the Field Logic. Lastly, in the Sharing menu, we can choose who this view should be shared with. We can set admins, shared users, shared groups, or shared domains. Once we have our sharing options set, save the changes. Then we can select back to view to see the result. Here we can see the new view. As you can see, the user of this view can only see the requests they are assigned to and have limited visibility into the fields on the underlying sheet. They also only have the ability to edit the specific fields we have chosen. So are you ready to get started using Dynamic View? Check it out today by selecting Dynamic View in the top menu of any sheet or report.